All right, hello everybody. I'm coming to you with an open boxing of the box that you see down below here. Uh, but I wanted to show you the uh, concealable vest that I uh, purchased from Safe Life Defense. I purchased my vest first, uh, and then I just now received this uh, this afternoon or this yeah this afternoon uh, my panels, the three A plus panels from Safe Life Defense. They're the red ones. Uh, I purchased the vest first to make sure that it was going to fit me properly and I didn't have to return the whole vest with the panels in it. So uh, now um, it fits well, so I kept the, the concealable vest and uh, just received the uh, panels. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing, but I wanted to show you and remind you about the uh, vest. Uh, Safe Life Defense right there. There's the front, the back. It has uh, two Velcro uh, removable. These uh, belts remove completely if you want um, on both sides. So there's four uh, left and right, two on each side. And then um, you have uh, openings here in the back in case you want to put uh, plates um, for rifle plates in the back. And um, also in the front here too you have a, a slot that you can open with Velcro and put your, your rifle plates in there as well to make this level 4. Um, <clears throat> but this is a level 3A, which uh, will, uh, should stop all small arm rounds. Um, it also uh, is slash proof and uh, puncture proof for knife, ice picks, and of that sort. So once again, this is level 3A. The vest itself is not, <laughs> I should say. I should just make that disclaimer. For myself, uh, if you're watching the video, the vest is not. One thing I didn't show on one of my last videos that I recorded was the inside. You see the meshing on the inside. That's on both sides, the front and back of the vest. So I didn't cover that the last time I did the video. But I did want to show that to you this time. Uh, because what I'm going to have to do is undo the Velcro and open the vest up so that I can put the panels in eventually. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take care of that now. I'm going to take off the Velcro belts. I put this here so it covers my name and address and all that, so you all don't need to know that. Alright, so there it is. There's the vest, and then the panels are going to go right inside here. I'm going to open up these here, the Velcro uh, openings and then insert the panels but we're going to push this to the side first so I can get the unboxing of the panels done and I should have grabbed uh, my knife from my pocket before I did this so that I can take care of that uh, right away uh, I have another knife that I use but it's not as sharp uh, but anyway so in, so I don't have to cross the video I'm going to grab this the other uh, knife that I use it's a home a little home knife and let's go ahead and do this unboxing we'll go ahead and start cutting the tape you want to cut away from you never told you all right there you go we got it done even without my nice uh, nice little sharp pocket knife all right so let me make sure the video is covering this clearly Okay, I think it's got it okay. All right, so here we go. This is the first time you're seeing it and I'm seeing it together. So, like I said, I just got this in. Today is uh, Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. All right. All right, so here's the paperwork showing that I uh, ordered that. There's a little... Rocher Armor Testing Booklet, 3A and 3A Plus Soft Armor, and then it does the rifle plates for level 4 rifle plates and that ICW, ICV, or ICW, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I think maybe I should put them on, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Put the glasses on, okay, I can see much better. Uh, hope you can see that, okay. Uh, in the back of it, just some information uh, there we go it says has contents in here level 3a ballistic resistance testing level 3a plus ballistic resistant testing level 3a plus stab resisting testing and rifle plate ballistic resistant testing so that's 
all the information there. So here's 3A, all the testing results from that. Mine's a 3A plus, so this is uh, right here. This is mine. 3A plus, here's all the ratings and results. Uh, result from 9mm, 50 grain, Liberty, Civil Defense. It has testing data from the 9mm, 50 grain, Liberty, defense, Civil Defense. Uh, results from the 357, SIG, uh, FMJ. Testing data from 357, SIG, FMJ again. And then um, continuing with the 3A plus. I don't know, I'm hoping you can see that okay. Uh, this is uh, the results for 44 Magnum. Testing from uh, 44 Magnum again. And testing data for the level 3A stab resistance testing summary. Okay, so. And then the rifle plate stuff, which I don't have. I don't have any rifle plates in here, or I purchased yet, as of yet. Um, but I'm not considering that at this time. All right, so that's what this booklet shows you. All right, it gives you a little card. Uh, shows you the website, the guarantee, and how to contact them. Uh, need help? We are here for you. And the vests themselves. Whew. Get a weight to that. <laughs> oh goodness. Whoa. There they are right there. Let it open them. Now, watching so many of the YouTube videos about the, the plates uh, and how to install them and, you know, things about them, uh, it does remind you, and I think believe it'll say here, that you want to put this uh, facing uh, the, the same direction as the labels that are in the vest. So when you put it in the vest, you want to make sure the label is facing upward because the outside is what protect, is the ballistic protection is from what I understand from the video. But then again, who knows? Maybe it's different. What Seiko, I gotta, I gotta think about that for a second because I just realized and I felt, it seemed like I felt, here was the trauma plate. It feels like the tra there's a trauma plate in here. Because these do come with trauma plates as well, which is a thin sheet of, it seems, looks like plastic, but I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, but it is a trauma plate and uh, I wish I, uh, remember exactly what the material it was made of was but it does feel like there's a trauma plate on this side so I thought the trauma plate was supposed to be up against the body not on the outside so I don't know if, so I don't know it just says here let's see uh, well actually let me get my reading glasses because these are just my uh, walking around glasses okay reading glasses it says Warning, wear face. This side to be worn towards the body. Yeah. Well, see, that's that's a little weird. Towards the body, okay. Because I don't feel no trauma plate in here. I thought, I could have sworn when I saw all YouTube videos the trauma plate was against your body, not on the outside of the body. So that, that strikes me a little strange there uh, of why I feel the trauma plate on this side, which is on the outside of the body which would be like this, you know? Hmm. Let me see if I put it on this one too. And I'm not sure if they're both different for one in the front, one in the back. This looks like it might be a bit different than this one, but who knows. I have to see if it says rear or, or front. Um, has my serial number on it. Date of issue, I don't know, maybe I could write something on there. So yeah, this side up, okay, so let's get back to this one. But I do feel the trauma plate on the outside as well on this one. All right, enough on the trauma plate, and uh, let me just read here. It has my model number, my size, the threat level, NIJ, 3A. Ballistic performance, and... 
Okay, this strikes me a little odd as well. Because this says it's a level 3A. It doesn't say level 3A+, plus, but yet it's the red vest that's supposed to be 3A+. Plus. But I don't know why they don't show it here. It just says uh, 3A. That's it. Just 3A, not 3A+. Plus. Okay, so it doesn't wear face. This side to be worn towards the body. Warning, this panel is rated only for the ballistic threat level stated above. It is not intended to protect against rifle fire without optional rifle plates. And then it gives you the care instructions. Okay, I'm still <laughs> okay, I'm still a little confused with why it's saying 3A and not 3A plus here. But yet, okay, I, okay, I, I digress here for a second. On the top, it says the model SLD, which is Safe Life Defense, SLD, Sam, uh, Lincoln, David, that's CHP, uh, actually it's both Sheriff and uh, CHP Phonetics, Sam, Lincoln, David, plus. So it does say the motto up there, SLD plus, and then the threat level, NIJ 3A. So I guess that's supposed to cover it, I guess, that it is a 3A plus, 3A and then plus. So then, okay. All right, I, I'm comfortable a bit now. I was getting a little worried, concerned. A little, like, upset, a little not happy that it would have been just 3A and not 3A+, plus like I purchased. But the color is a giveaway. The blue ones are just the front here. It's very short. It doesn't cover the sides. Like, these have wings. But anyway, I'm making this video way too long, and i got to cut it short uh, or, or quit rambling on. All right, so let's go ahead and take these out and uh, remove the box. And then I will bring over the uh, concealable vest from 3A Plus. Let's make sure it's still recording. It didn't shut off. Okay, so still recording. All right, so let's bring the, the vest. So this is the front, and here's the back. So since we have the back already facing us, let's go ahead and start with that. I don't believe that it says anything about them. Both one needs to be in the front, one needs to be on the back. I believe they're they, they're both the same shape, and they could fit uh, equally in the front or back. My vest itself it's a body armor, Safe Life Defense body armor. Uh, this is out of Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where they're at. That's where they're located. And this outer carrier provides uh, this. This outer carrier provides no protection without the ballistic panels properly installed. You must refer to the ballistic panels to determine the NIJ rating of the armor. And then it has care instructions. It has my size, the lot number, model number. And this is a concealable vest. Okay, so, all right, let's do this. We're going to rip this open. Matter of fact, let me bring one of the panels closer because I know this thing closes pretty quickly if you, or it's, you know, it doesn't stay open very much if you don't have your okay so remember the logo the label faces your body which it is so it's facing the body and this is a bit tricky getting this in here because the vest only opens so much Success for the first one. And let's go ahead and secure this. All right, looks like we successfully got the first panel in here. I I, I was believing that I was going to struggle with that a lot more, to be honest. Let's get this out of the way. Make sure I'm still in frame with you guys here. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. All right, so we have we got the uh, first one in. I don't like the way this is pinched up a little bit because this can hurt 
once it's on the body. Yeah. There shouldn't be any lumps or pinching up here because if it if you have any kind of bulge right in, in this seam here, it's gonna hurt putting pushed up against your body. So you want to make sure you don't get any lumps pushing up here. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this around and do the front part now. bring the other panel put it close by and like I said it doesn't say anything here about ones for the front and ones for the back but let me read closer closer and more accurately to make sure it doesn't say this is for the front and this one's for the back I should have wrote the date of issue but it seems this is very shiny and slippery if I mark this with a marker it might but, you know, let me do it anyway. The sad thing is I wear a white shirt underneath, so this might bleed onto my white shirt. So as a data issue is 11, 1, 2020. All right. So at least one of the panels has it. And it's just so... Oh, that's right, I forgot. This is going in the the concealable vest itself. It's not going to be up against my t-shirt. I should have wrote it on the other one. I'll do that uh, after I stop the video, but let's go ahead and place this one in. But once again, I don't see anything that says this is for the front and this is for the back. I think they're interchangeable. It must be because it doesn't say front or back. It just says wear face. This side to be worn towards the body. That's all it says. Doesn't say anything on this side about anything else. Alright, let's go ahead and open the front. Go ahead and grab the plate. And once again, the label is facing up towards the body. Alright, what's it up against in there? What's going on? What's going on in there? <laughs> What's going on? This one seems a little bit more of a struggle than the other one. The vest itself is the same size as these panels, supposedly. Wow. Okay, this is a bit, of a, a bit more of a struggle than the other one. Which is not good. Maybe there is a difference between the two. Because this one's like wider or something. It's not really fitting in there very well. Okay, so let's try this. Let's go ahead and remove this plate. Let's go ahead and remove this plate from here because it seems like it fell sh it's falling short from here. I don't know. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, this does write higher in the back than this one in the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this one in the back then. We shouldn't have to keep ripping this open to take out the vest. Okay, so this one we'll try in the front. This one we'll put in the back. Oh, see what I mean? This thing closes, man. Once it closes on you, it's going to stay closed. It'll secure again. you got to make sure you have your vest right next to you. Okay. Yeah, see, that one looks like it's riding up a lot higher and nicer than... Uh, than this, the other panel. Okay. Yeah, see this one, it's riding a lot higher, which is nice. Okay, let's see if I can seal it without getting any lumps on there. Well, there's a lump on this side. Okay, but not bad. Okay. 
Okay, so there we go. There's the rear. So without it saying front or back, it seems like there is a difference when you put the panels in from the front to the back. Because when I tried to put that one in the front, it wasn't going in very easy at all. So let's go ahead and get the front worked in here, see if it'll work in better and easier. Yep, it seems like I could feel it already. It's coming along a lot easier than, uh, than what, what, what that other panel was doing. Yep. I think I have to ride this up a little bit more. There you go. Boy, you talk about tight. This is... There we go. There's one side at least. I don't want to damage this, these panels. There we go. Wow, that's some work. On... All right, so yes, it does seem like... Right, let me get this... All right, we got them, we did it. Yeah, for sure, each panel belongs on its own uh, specific side. So this panel that I just put in for the front, this is the front of the vest, it's obviously uh, for the front, and that one was for the back. All right, so there it is. Both panels are in. Let's go ahead and bring the back over to the front. Turn it around. Still recording, good. All right. All right, what is it like? Five pounds, maybe? I don't know, that's a guesstimation. I don't really know. It just feels like I'm holding a bag of sugar. Okay, so. Whew. So we'll go ahead and put on the the one side here. All right, so there it is. Ballistic panels are in. 3A plus, red, from Safe Life Defense. There it is. And then uh, I'll stop the video and then we'll check out after I put it on, we'll see how it fits and looks, and I'll critique, give you my opinion of what it uh, feels like and uh, how it feels. All right, there it is, people. Open boxing of my brand new panels for my brand new Safe Life Defense concealable vest. And uh, like I said, I just received this uh, today, the panels. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead and review it after I put it on. But... There you go. Today is uh, November 1st, 2022. And uh, this is Keith Sr. I am a volunteer on patrol with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department.